Now, the Taiping Rebellion took place in China in the mid 1800s. It lasted about 14 years. However, it was one of the most horrific and bloody periods in human history. Since you are ruling your kingdom, you probably want your kingdom to last more than 14 years and not result in the wholesale slaughter of your people. So today we're going to look at the Taiping Rebellion and how they created a new idea and specifically what you can learn as a ruler in creating ideas that help your kingdom instead of destroy them. The first thing to learn is you want to aim for imperfection. The Taiping Rebellion aimed for perfection. They told their people that this new kingdom will be perfect. The problem was, at that time, China was filled with imperfection. All these other rulers and emperors that had to be thrown down. So what happened is, the Taiping Rebellion went to war to cleanse the land of this imperfection so this new perfect kingdom could come. And this didn't simply result in thousands dying, or even millions dying, but tens of millions of Chinese died trying to purify China and make this new kingdom come into perfection. So as you create your ideas as the ruler, you always want to aim for imperfection. That's the goal. The next thing we can see is the importance of having a unique idea. The Taiping Rebellion did not have a unique idea. They put together a bunch of old ideas. They used Confucianism. They used Christianity. They used ancient ideas that had never actually been practiced, and they pushed them all together, and they came up with what they thought was a new idea. However, you can't just put a get together a bunch of ideas and get a new idea. You can't put old ideas together and magically get a new idea. That's not how it works. Instead, you as the ruler, it's your job to come up with the idea, the inspiring why. Then you give your new idea over to your wizards and they figure out how to make that idea come into reality. So your job as the ruler is to make the new idea and have it be imperfect and unique. And then the last thing we can see is the importance of simplicity. The Taiping Rebellion had a very complex idea. They were pushing for land reform, calendar reform, literary reform, political reform, and of course, a new military structure to oversee the country. That is extremely complex. As a ruler, you don't want to give your people something that looks like this. They don't know what to do with that. It's too complex. You can't absorb that within a short period of time, and you have to make sure your idea can get out to everybody in a way that they understand, from children to adults, from the uneducated to the educated. Everybody has to understand your idea. And you say, what? Well, how simple should I make my idea? A good rule of thumb is to boil your idea down to seven words or less. If you can't get it down to seven words or less, keep working on it. Keep simplifying it. And remember, you're the ruler. You just have to create a motivating why. A why that's a new idea, that's inspiring. It needs to be imperfect, unique, and simple, but keep it within that framework. Make your idea seven words or less.